Hello everyone. I'd like to take you on a sun gazing journey live with me if you have never had the opportunity to sun gaze. It's a very interesting time right now and there's a lot of energies that we're all connecting with that are new. And so I'd like to allow you the opportunity, yes, when it's like snow on the ground. I mean, I'm standing in a puddle of, of uh, ooey gooey, icy, slushy, really this, um, it's really a nice opportunity to uh, get to enjoy uh, the experience of being a human. What an interesting opportunity this is. And why is this part of my joint? There we go, let's stabilize that, there it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna ground, bare feet on the ground, of course, cool, take a big breath in, just, oh, feels good to be alive, right? Let's just ponder that off for a quick millennia. Feels good to be alive. We could spend our whole lives thinking that thought right there. Allow yourself to set your ground. Have the intention to clear all past grounding cables that you've ever created, consciously or unconsciously. Allow those connections to dissolve as you embrace your power back from any energetic cables. Some people will call them succubus type energy, vampire energy sucking out of you. We're gonna allow those to dissolve as well and allow any future entities who desire to suck your energy to come forth prior to show their true purpose before adopting in a conscious, consciously accepted way from all dimensions of oneself. And so now that we know that all energy sucking entities, energy cables, energy vampires, pendulums, negative thought forms, lower dimensional energies are now dissolved. We thank them for their lessons and we allow ourselves to set one grounding cable from our tailbone. And thank you, Lyrian masters, for this uh, small piece to remind us the importance of grounding and how to and where that cable goes to from our tailbone down into the earth where it feels most comfortable. If you're starting out, maybe five feet. If you are an ascended master and you've been practicing or instantaneously know who and what it is that you're here to do, then allow yourselves to go to the center. And it gets interesting the further you go down. And so just be prepared for that energy and breathe through every, any level of resistance because that only represents the resistance inside of you. And as we go into the heart of Gaia, allow yourself to sit in the presence of the throne. Feels good. So allow your, allow your knees to bend a little bit. Allow yourself to lean forward a little bit. So you're almost, actually, you are now on the pads of your feet. You're no longer walking like a human. You are in the position of every animal on this planet. You have now connected with Gaia in resemblance to that which evolves and expresses itself throughout. And that is on the pads of your feet. Especially grounded, you've got now three points of connection. You've got your grounding cable, you've got your two feet, and then what we're going to do is create downward. We're going to focus on wherever it is that you came down to. So if it's the center of the earth or six feet down, you're going to create a triangle energy. This is this is powerful stuff. This is grounded. You are grounded. Three point. There's rules of three in this and also zero point energy that you're connecting with. And you're going to allow yourself to embrace and accept the flow of the energy through the left side, your left foot. That is the receiving side. The right is the sending side. So you're going to receive that in through the left. Remember, you receive lower on the left rate uh, raise on the right if you're a server right so offer on the left because that's where it will be received you pick up on the right because that's where it will be sent okay now we're getting connections of why we all 
we're in the service industry. These things are all around us. This information is all around us. So we're going to pull in from our left and we, if you are basically beginning, let's just allow that energy to flow up through your lower three chakras. You got your root chakras, the red, the sacral, right? Blood red, allow that root energy, that anchor. And then a little higher, um, we've got our, we got our orange, we got our tum tum, right? This is the Buddha. This is where we store that energy. Oh man, it feels good. So we're focusing on orange, right? We've got that. And then we've got, we're gonna go into our yellow, our solar plexus, right? And we're gonna wait until our heart accepts that energy and just allow it to flow up. If you'd like to put a counterclockwise spin around each of your chakras, it'll just add that little extra zing to it and a little flare uh, if you're ready for it. And then when you're ready to allow that energy into your heart, this is when it really gets fun. This is when you go from a place of wanting to doing to being <laughs> welcome you are and being in that place where you've accepted and filtered because as you can see taking on energy like that is just like creating another energy cable if that will suck the life out of you i kid you not that is why a lot of you are where you are right now empaths and why you can feel people empaths is because you unknowingly they are sucking your energy at all times. You're a free-for-all. You're open, open for business and the shelves are empty, right? As within, so without. And this allows you at this point to filter that energy, to filter that energy first and you're receiving it into your heart and, and call it in and it is pure. And at this point, it is like the sun, which if you haven't noticed, our sun is white. <laughs> our sun is white. It is not yellow. It is not orange. It is white. And there is a reason for that. That is divine light shining on us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you haven't checked out, the ultimate giver. Thank you, sun. Oh, so lovely. And it's going to wrap around our heart, our throat, our third eye, our crown. It's going to keep coming down in that counterclockwise direction all the way through our chakras. And it's going to go down to our right side and now we're going to be fully grounded and if you're if you stop there boy and just stare at the sun for 5 10 15 seconds you'll just just be so in awe of what is going on right now following me for the last few years, better yet, following yourself, you've gotten to the point where staring at the sun for 30 or 40 minutes at a time is it's one of the best things that you get to do through life. When you have kids oh, and you have a job ooh, and you have responsibilities, yeah. get to the point where you're also accepting universal energy through your crown chakra down through your to the root and then back up again spinning around each of your chakras and then you're pulling in receiving <laughs> receiving energy through your left palm for the sun through the sun and it's wrapping around all your chakras. And if you haven't, don't know what this is about, I have some how-to videos for advanced sun gazing. What we're gonna, going to do, so this is, this is downloads by the daily. So I'm keeping you hot <laughs> on what's going on. Now what we're going to do, now that we have the, the pyramid, right? We're going down into the earth. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to create another <laughs> pure, we're going to do the same type of energy. And we, three points, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> so just like with our feet and then our tailbone, we're gonna create that one point, so that three points there is a pyramid and also these three points right here. I'm going to hold this pyramid right here and I'm going to put that right in the middle of the sun, right? So that my hands are really pulling in that energy. And so what it does is it allows you to have the utmost focus and allows you to truly receive all that there is. And by assuming the bowspring position, <laughs> thank you, October 22nd, 2019, Leela Veronica, for this addition to my life. <laughs> And by assuming the bowspring position, holding up your arms, down, oof, and it's, it is uh, physically focusing as well. So what you're doing is you're creating these two pyramids in you, and you have this four-dimensional aspect of energy flowing, and you are at that seat of the throne of awareness because there is so much focus on the here and the now. There's so much focus on the here and the now. There's so much focus on the here and the now. There's so much focus on the here and the now. And this is where we all desire to be, is the now. Everyone wants to understand how to get rid of the thoughts. And when you spend more time in the now, you understand how to spend more time in the now. So if you'd like to spend more time in the now, encourage you to spend more time in the now and allow that to express itself throughout your life and by being in the now and allowing all that what that is around you and all the activity and all the inactivity that's going around you allow yourself to whatever it is that you're doing to be your true authentic self and allow yourself to continue to focus on being in the now so no matter what is surrounding you just allow yourself the simple pleasures of being in the now and your future self will thank you for being in the now your past self will thank you and what i am oh wow this is very unique so i just want to let you all know that this white divine gold bright white unicorn rainbow light is is for the real real like it's it's real real and as you're watching the sun place its divine uh, white light on you and as you're putting it in the uh, your hands as a pyramid, you know, just remember when you were a kid and you used to do this thing, right? And you have three fingers. Well, now you have multiple pyramids. And because of that, you're aware of multiple dimensions at once and allowing yourself at the same time actually to have, you'll see you'll have three thumbs right here in the middle. And it will also allow you to see that you have multiple pyramids. And so it is actually a, Get ready, folks. This is a, a portal or a pyramid that you're creating and allowing yourself to literally create a future space for yourself in your dream, dream time to come back to and allow your subconscious to work in the evening for you so that you can uh, assimilate and assume and fully embrace the most optimal timeline for yourself. And this is something that right now during 2020 it is the year of clear vision 2020 it's <laughs> yeah it's 2020 and with everything that's going on the game right now the focus the purpose of everything that's going on media who is media media was a goddess of deception that is what media is um, so if you go back into the Greek Roman era and uh, discover that for yourself, you'll realize why it's called a cover story, why it is a television, because it tells lies to your vision, why you use a remote control, who is remotely being controlled, and what is distracting you from, which is yourself, and going with outside, and instead we can be looking on the inside, and this allows you to have a portal that goes both ways um, into the sun and also have that eternal connection to your heart 
and this will be an interesting phase what we're going through when potentially the, the, the sources that we've been sustaining life here will shift just as energy to fuel the transportation systems is also shifting. We'll find and discover and release energy being, being produced from uh, water changing um, and changing salt water into drinkable water and also utilizing uh, water resonating frequencies actually to power uh, vehicles and with crystals and we're going to be utilizing the vibrations of the world and the Schumann resonance to propel uh, things across distant large distances that could or could not be uh, engine propelled so the future is definitely interesting and it is uh, bright and you will have that information within you to follow and if you are following it and if you're still here probably I can't even I just stopped looking at the Sun for like 30 minutes so I'm not quite sure if anybody's even on or continue watching this but if you stayed and you watch the end just let me know uh, if you like to learn more about sun gazing you can go on my youtube channel and i've got a lot of information in there i've been sun gazing for years and it has definitely helped through all of this ascension symptoms and ascension questions and understanding what is going on inside of my self-destructive heart through anxiety and depression and suicidal tendencies and while we're so many people are being isolated right now i, I am not going to even fathom or try to imagine how many people are in that situation where they're going through those feelings of anxiety, you're living in the future, depression, you're living in the past, um, suicidal. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting thing what the world is going through right now. And, I, and, to, and to continue forward on that path, there's a lot of individuals are looking for answers and the sun is one of them. That's uh, one direction that you can go into the Akashic Records to find your purpose, to find that which will uh, connect you to ultimate profit and prosperity in, the, in a time where and always where challenges mix with opportunity and there is always the opposite side of the coin even right now when my feet, feet have been in slushy snow mud water grass for 20 or 30 minutes I could focus on how uh, the temperature that is or I can look up and continue to marvel at where I am that is the opportunity that you have as well so on that I will bid you do and as a reminder take time tonight during your meditation before you go into bed and find that place where that light resonates on the uh, back of, it, uh, of your of your retina that is a, a energetic uh, a connection point back to this moment so that you can go back and uh, download and unzip the information that you just downloaded from the sun. So with that, I, I hope that you are doing well. And a uh, message from the rocks and our ancestors. I found, I've been finding, and I have been over the last number of months, a lot of petrified wood. And the message that I've been getting is hold your ground. So whatever you do, ground that, hold your ground, and then... Um, ascend and let's uh, go ahead and collapse time and space through this interesting time, shall we? Talk soon. Thanks for watching this video presented by Tortoise and Hare Financial Affairs. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll get updates on our daily, weekly, and our monthly educational video releases. And also consider watching these other empowering financial education videos to enhance your financial trajectory. See you on the next video.